Ladies and gentlemen, we take you now behind the scenes of a police headquarters in a great American city, where under the cold, glaring lights will pass before us the innocent, the vagrant, the thief, the murderer. This is The Lineup. Put Lowe down on the first row. He's right over there. Oh, thanks, Quinn. Uh, how are you, Leonard? Oh, hello, Lieutenant. Uh, how do you feel? Pretty good, I guess. A little uncomfortable keeping my arm up like this. Yeah. Well, how long will you have to keep the cast on? About four months, the doctor said. Hmm. Bullet shattered the bone. They had to put a new piece in. Oh, that's tough one. You think you got the guy? Well, if it's the same one you picked out of the month file. you will see will be numbered. I'll call off a number, then name and charge. If you have any questions or identification, please remember the number assigned to the prisoner as I call his name. At the end of each line, when I ask for questions or identifications, call off the number. If you're sure or not too sure of the suspect, have him held. <coughs> the officers who took your name will assist you. They're seated among you. The questions I ask these suspects are merely to get a natural tone of voice. So do not pay too much attention to their answers as they often lie. Bring on the line. All right, boys, keep it moving right over here to the end of the stage. That's it. Now turn and face front, hands to your side. Now when I call your number, step out and talk up so the people in the back of the room can hear you. All right. Number one, Elliot Pusher, it's out. Where do you live, Elliot? Out in 54 West, out in yep. Street. Number three. Yeah, the park. The small the guy. Park. That's the guy. You work? sure? I'm a yeah, commercial I've fisherman. I He's the one that was driving. No, wait till he phone? comes up. Yeah, I, I want you to be positive. Him. Okay. What started the fight? The guy made a remark. What did you hit him with? The gaff. That's the sharp hook, isn't it? Yeah, I use it to haul in fish. You gaff him. Who was the man you used it on? The guy works for you me. You found any of the other men, Lieutenant? No, I don't even know who they are yet. Well, that third guy up there would know. Uh, yeah, if he's the one. So he is. I was a cop for a long time, too, you know. I got Number memory. Two, he drove that Robert. car. Where do you live, Pete? 433 and a half North Lincoln, Sergeant. Where do you work? I ain't been. Where did you work? Friday. Used to be a fighter. Lightweight. A little heavy now. Any weapons? Huh? Any weapons on you when you were arrested? No, nah, I just climbed into the place. I didn't want to hurt nobody. Where are you from, Pete? Detroit. I've been here a couple of months, I guess. I couldn't find nothing to do. Can't fight no more. Got blind in this eye. Did you have a car? No. Where am I going to get a car? Okay, Pete. Step back. Yeah, okay. Number three. Cully Price. Armed robbery. Ready, live, Cully. Lexington Avenue. 774 North Lexington Hotel. That's him. What's your business, Cully? No business. Come on, talk up, Cully. I'm not working. You have any weapons on you? Yeah, 38. 38 what? Revolver, automatic? Automatic. And you people out there hear him? Oh. No. Now you heard what I said, Cully. Yeah. All right, talk up. It's a long way to the back of the room. Sure, okay. You own a car, Cully? No. You were driving one at the time of the robbery? I wasn't in no robbery. You sure that's him? Where are Absolutely. you from, Cully? The I was closer than this when he Can drove you? away. Sergeant Graham? Yes, Lieutenant. Hold number three for interrogation. Sure. Just you and me? Well, Quine and Asher are on duty. Maybe we can pick up a couple of others at the club. You're gonna lose. <laughs> like the last time? Oh, I was tired. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, hello, Cully. Oh, how are you? We'd like to make this short. Okay. It's up to you. I didn't do nothing. Now, you just listen. Okay. The Spartan payroll was struck up. So what? Just listen. Four men wearing masks walked in and walked out with $100,000. A guard was shot, but he got a good look at the driver of the getaway car. Hmm. 
Can I smoke? Nope. Okay. The guard says you were driving the car. Yeah, he's blind. You don't want to make it short. I want to make it plenty short. Just take my word and let me go. That's short. He picked you out of the mug pile before we hauled you off that bus. And yeah, so we made a mistake. Okay, Cully. Now, look, I'm telling you the truth. I wasn't you're in no rap. You're a time loser. Yeah. One more rap, you get life. Oh, you're going to work, huh? You've been here before. You know the routine. Yeah, and it don't scare me. Where'd you get the $5,000 you had on you? I want it. Where? On a horse. What horse? Uh, sound off. What race? I, uh... What race? What track? Fifth. What track? I don't know. I bet them all. Look it up. What were you doing the day before yesterday? Stayed home. Who was in on the robbery with you? I wasn't in no robbery. Who were you driving the car for? I wasn't driving no car. How much did you bet on that horse? Huh? How much did you bet on that horse? Enough to win me 5000 What were the odds? I don't remember. I bet every day. What day did you bet this horse? Uh, yesterday. We picked you up getting on the bus at 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, no. No, no, it wasn't yesterday. The day before? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Where did you bet it? Out of, uh, out of books. I thought you said you stayed home. Well, I went out. A guy can't stay in all the time. Who were the other four men in on the stick-up? I don't know what you're talking about. You read the papers, don't you? I didn't read about no robbery. You must have bet a lot of money to win 5000 Yeah. Where'd you get it? I had it. Won it. I do pretty good on the race. What was the name of the book? Look, I don't want to get in no trouble. You were identified as the man driving the getaway car. I tell you, I didn't drive no car. Where were you going on the bus? Out of town. Where? New York. No, no look, I, I, I wasn't driving no car. I was, I wasn't in sure no you were. No. Who were the other four men? I don't know. Look. Can I have a drink of water? No. You were in your apartment that day? Uh, yeah. And you went out to the bookmaker? Uh, yeah, yeah. What else did you do? I, I, I stayed in all day. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was tired. I, I listened to the race. Didn't you go out for food? Uh, no, no. Who were they, Cully? Who were the other men? There, 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 there wasn't any other men. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll get life, Cully. For what? For what I didn't do? We've got enough to convict you right now. All right, then do it. Do it. Go ahead. We want the other four men. Uh, Give us their names. Nuts! Tell me some more about that horse you won 5000 Races all the time, huh, Tony? Yeah, yeah, all, all the time. You want one, Ben? Yeah. Uh, look, can I, can I please have a drink, huh? Uh, yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, how come you only got five thousand out of a hundred thousand dollar job? I, uh, I didn't get the. Try from a job. I got it. Better. Come on, Cully. Okay. Who were the other four men? Uh, Lou Holstetter, Jack Fascio, David James, and Martin Fleischman. Fleischman? Yeah, yeah. He just got out two months ago. He, yeah, he, he, he figured the job. He would. I got a flat five grand, and they split the take. All I did was drive. Now, now, give me a drink of water. I'm, I'm losing my voice. Hey, Ben! In, in number three... I uh, told Klein we'd be up here. You get out on APB? Yeah, yeah. Descriptions on all of them. I hope we get Flashman first. He's so smart he never argues. <laughs> He'd just tell us who the rest were. You ready to get beat? I'm ready to find out if you can. <laughs> okay, serve it up. All right. Oh. 
Shower? You can take it after you get fascio. If it is him, he's in a steam bath. Oh, he might even stick around for a rub down. Which one? Last booth on the end. Okay. You go on back to the front. Hey, uh, there's customers near the booth. Ain't gonna be no shooting. He's getting a rub down, isn't he? Yeah. Where's his clothes? In the other room. Well, I don't think he's got a gun with him. Quine, go check his clothes. Okay. Show me. Yeah, sure. Hey! What's going on? I got testimony at noon. Get up, Fascio. Hey, look, you guys. Relax. You ain't Relax. got no business. Let's go, Fascio. I show these guys that one, Mr. Fascio. Police. Huh? Oh. Come on, Fascio. Yeah. Sure. Hey, who's going to pay for this mess? If I had known I was going to get this kind of a workout, I wouldn't have suggested squash. Bray's household word is the name of Bing Crosby. For years, Bing has set the styles in American music. You and your entire family are invited to join Bing every Wednesday evening over most of these same CBS stations. That's Wednesday night, Bing's night on the air. The Bing Crosby Show, an American listening tradition. been puttering in your garden, Fascio. You sure have a green thumb. Huh? $18,000 we dug up, Fascio. In an old empty grapefruit can. <laughs> Imagine our surprise. Yeah, I don't trust banks. Well, your circle of friends, I don't blame you. You've never been such a smooth operator, Fascio. How come your end was so much more than Cully's? Who's Cully? Oh, look, let's not play hide-and-seek anymore. I already got a blister digging in your devil grass. We've got a signed confession from Cully. It's only a matter of time until we get your playmate. Martin Fleischman, Lou Holstetter, and David James. Right, Fascio? Now, do you still want to waste time? And I recommended Cully for the job. Five grand he got. He ain't made that in two years. Why, when I run into him, he was tending bar in some sloppy saloon. I took him to see Marty, got him a suit of clothes, loaned him a hundred, and let him sleep on my couch. Had to get a clean, too. Crummy bum got hair oil all over the upholstery. <laughs> Ouch. You'll have to stop talking through your nose for a while, Fascio. But don't stop talking. Where do we find the rest of the boys? I don't know. I don't get hasty. I just don't know. Holstetter was leaving the state. James, I never knew before. He was Marty's idea. What about Marty? Marty smart. You'll have trouble finding Marty. Where'd you see him last? Look, Lieutenant, I'm not trying to be difficult. No one to play it cozy. It's just my nose hurts. Well, I'll have the doc look at it again, Fascio. After you tell us all you know. A teletype from Illinois, Ben. They picked up Halstetter. Good. See, I told you he left the state. Take a couple of men. Send them up on extradition. Right. Well, three down, two to go. Where's Fleischman, Fascio? I mean it, fellas. If I was you, I wouldn't know where to start looking for Marty. He's covered up good if I know Marty. Only he doesn't know we're looking for him yet. What are his habits? What does he do with his spare time? Well, he reads a lot. Ancient history he likes. I used to meet him at the library once in a while and drive him home. He never learned to drive. Which library? Big one in Central. But he wouldn't go there now. Marty's too smart to go anywhere for a while. Matt, put a stake out on every library in town. 
Right. It's uh, worth a try. Ah, you're wasting your time. Marty, too smart. I'd sure like a smoke, Lieutenant. Wonder if it'd hurt my nose. Oh, yeah. Try it and find out. a different brand of coffee? Well, it's that instant stuff. I thought I'd try it. Say something in the grounds. You like it? Well, it's not bad. Did I tell you Molly's going away for a week? Yeah, where? Oh, visit her mother. It'll do her good to get away for a while. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I thought we might... Uh... Hey, I'll out here, Ben. I'll bring him in. Come on, I'll set her. Last you time she went away, you were like a lost puppy. Yeah. Hello, I'll set her. Sit down. Thanks. Glad to have you back. You should let us know when you leave town. Look, I'm not in the mood. Get to it, huh? All right, Holstetter. We want a full confession on the spot and hold up. Do we get it now or later? Huh. We've got Cully and Fascio signed and sealed. Your name is very prominent in the statement. So? So don't be a fool, Holstetter. We don't need your confession. You just do yourself a favor. Huh. Yeah, you're a lucky boy. That guard's still alive, fella. Not the way you planned it. I didn't shoot up. A... Go ahead, Holstetter. You were saying... Guthrie. Yeah? Are you sure? Then don't take him unless he comes out before I get there. Yeah. Come on, Matt. We may have Fleischman. You'll excuse us, won't you, Holstetter? This is Fleischman. You boys will have a fourth for bridge. Sergeant Quine will entertain you while you're gone. Huh. <laughs> Sure, it's Flashman, all right. Trollman on the beat spotted him. I went up and took a look. He's in the ancient history section. What's the setup? Well, it's not very crowded in there. I was afraid to send too many boys up. Get suspicious. I've got two men in there with him now. One man in the hall. Two men up there at the entrance. Anybody with him? Didn't spot any. Just sitting there reading. Let's take him. Room at the end. You at the place, Squash? Oh, some. Same? Yeah. Yeah, that's Fleischman. Is there something I can do for you? Please. Stay here, Asher. Fleischman? Keep it quiet, Flashman. I certainly. I was just reading the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. Did you know it, Lieutenant? Read it in school. Should read it again. Very interesting. Let's go. I'm surprised to see you boys. Very frankly, didn't expect it. Let's go. Is this an arrest? A spot and payroll. We've got everybody but David James. Oh, sorry, miss. All right, boys. to return this book. Okay. Thank you, miss. Oh, why, yes, certainly. I'd like to check it out, but I'm afraid I couldn't afford the overtime. Good day. Good day, sir. I'd like to find David James. Would it help me? Might. I'm quite sure you can find him on his boat. His boat? He lives on it. David is a sort of a seagoing hermit. Doesn't care much for people. Where's the boat? The end of River Street, South Landing. It's registered under Smith. All right, let's have your right wrist. Certainly. Uh, it rose and fell. Rome? Fleischmann. <laughs> Yeah, 
Which one belongs to Smith? Ain't for rent. He don't rent it. Which one is it? Catch. One right down there. End of the slip. On the left? Yeah. Okay. You better get off the dock. Might be some trouble. Trouble? Police. Take him with you, Asher. Let's go, Pop. Hey, you want Smith? I'll tell you all about it, Pop. Let's go. Okay. Pretty open. Well, we'll just call him out. If he doesn't like the idea, give it to him. Uh, maybe if we got on that other boat across the slip. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. all over my Keep your head down. David James. James, you're boxed in. Come on out with your hands up. He doesn't want to cooperate. James, all areas surrounded. You haven't got... Everybody okay? Yeah. I got a face full of wood. Give me that, Thompson. You'll throw slugs all over the bay. I'll aim low. James! We'll give you one more chance. Come out with your hands up. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Put that thing away. Throw your gun out. There he comes. Both hands up, James. I can't. You hit the other one. Walk over this way. Okay. Okay. You guys sure ain't got no consideration. My boat is full of holes. All right. Give me your wrist. That's a $6,000 catch. You ruined it. Be at the bottom of a couple of hours. Look, friend, we did you a favor. After you do your 20 years, you just get seasick anyway. Before you pass the innocent, the vagrant, the thief, the murderer. Listen again next week when we again bring you The Lineup. May I have your attention, please? You people out there on the other side of the wire in the audience room, may I have your attention, please? Thank you. My name is Greb. Sergeant Matt Greb. I'll explain the lineup to you. Each of the suspects you will see will be numbered. I'll call off a number, then even charge. If you have any questions or identification, please remember the number assigned to the prisoner as I call his name. At the end of each line, when I ask for questions or identification, call out the number. If you're sure or not too sure of the suspect, have him held. The officer that took your name will assist you. The Lineup, starring Bill Johnstone as Lieutenant Ben Guthrie and Wally Mayer as Sergeant Matt Grebb, is written by Blake Edwards and Dick Quine, with music by Eddie Dunstetter. Featured in tonight's cast were Hi Everback, Jim Nusser, Harry Lang, Eddie Marr, Junius Matthews, Ray Hartman, Dave Young, and Mary Ship. The Lineup is produced and directed in Hollywood by Jaime Del Valle. <laughs> Peck is your star on Suspense, radio's outstanding theater of thrills this Thursday night. Mr. Peck will star in a suspense drama as up-to-date as tonight's radio news, a story that deals with narcotics and sales to teenagers. Be listening for Gregory Peck when Suspense is heard this Thursday on most of these same CBS stations. Coverly speaking, this is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.